It's your boy D back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If not, just go watch that. And now today I'm going to tell y'all a story about uh, my uncle. He was a big time major player back in Detroit. Uh, he also uh, was a pimp too. Uh, but he was in like the Southwest Detroit area, the East Side area, Bright Mode, pretty much all of that. But uh, he told me a story about a uh, lady, Simon Beast. Uh, he knew him through another individual. Um, they used to go out and like party and shit like that back in the day and shit like that, you know, do a little bit of that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he was pretty much saying that, you know, uh, late in time of Beast, man, he used to walk around with a machete, man. He said, he told, he told me, he said, he said, dude used to walk around with a machete like this big, bro, and a big ass 357 Magnum. You know, um, he also said that, you know, he was a funny dude. Um, he, he said he had a better relationship with his younger brother, um, which was um, killed in a bar uh, in Detroit. But uh, he was pretty much saying that, you know, he was a loyal, he was a good dude, man. You know, he was a kind heart dude. You know what I'm saying? He said that uh, he definitely was a big time major player. Um, like I said, man, I can speak on it now because, like I say, it's already out and documented. So it's not me saying anything that's not, you know what I'm saying? And plus, he didn't tell me anything criminal that he did, you know. Uh, he said that uh, he had some of the best old school cars that he ever seen. Uh, back in those days, they used to have like the Temptation, uh, like the Temptation area, they used to have like the Cadillacs and Big Body, old schools and that. He said, you know, he, he used to soup his shits up and uh, modify the engines and the, and the tailpipes and all of that and shit. It's, you know, he's, he, he, he said a lot of good shit about him, you know what I'm saying? He said he was a fun dude, you know, he said he loved to go out and party and have fun, you know what I'm saying? He was a big-time major player in that era, you know? Um, but he said, man, he was crazy than a motherfucker, man. He, he said, dog, that motherfucker was crazy, bro. He said that motherfucker used to walk around with a machete, bro. Like... He was crazy as shit, man. A lot, he, a lot of people didn't fuck with him. And I know he crazy if my uncle said, because my uncle was fucking loony. You know what I'm saying? My uncle hit back in the day. He was a crazy motherfucker. But, um, yeah, man, he say, he say, man, he, he said he was a crazy motherfucker. And like I said, as we can see now, it's, it's, I don't think he was lying, you know. But um, that was pretty much like the only story that he really had, you know, um, before my uncle passed away. But, um. Uh, when we was younger, we used to sit down and just ask some stories because he used to drink a lot. Um, so he would he would just tell us a lot of stories about back in the day when he was a big time player. Uh, he was a millionaire back in the back in the day. Uh, he didn't have it when, when he passed away, but um, you know he had some good ass stories, and that was one of the stories that he definitely told us. But um, for a long time, I never knew who he was talking about. I just remember the name. But then when they came out with all of that and, you know, how he had a fear reputation uh, in, in the city of Detroit. And another thing, too, I want to state, you know, uh, like my uncle was saying, a lot of people say he's from the southwest of Detroit. But he did a lot of his business in Detroit. And a lot of times, if you're from E-Course, you ain't, they're not going to let you get money in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? But he was a wolf. You know, so wolves gonna respect wolves. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people from E Course wasn't able to do that back in those days, come to Detroit and actually have a plug and get money. But he could, cause like I say, he was a beast. You know, um, like I say, um, I'm uh, I can come out with come out with some more stories. But a lot of the guys y'all pretty much wouldn't know uh, from back in the day in my uncle era. But uh, like I say, that's probably the one that you will know. Uh, you know, he, he got the rumor that he, he ran Big Meech out of Detroit. Um, that's yet to be proven or anything like that. But I'm going to definitely say, like I said, man, he definitely was a beast, man. Like my uncle was telling me, man, he, he, he was a beast. He was nothing to be played with. You know, if he was on your ass, then you was going to know he, he was on his ass, you know. He said his brother was way more cool and mellow and, and a little bit more calmer than he was. He said he had a better relationship with his younger brother before he passed away. But he said after he lost his brother, man, he just kind of went crazy and shit like that. And he said a lot of people really just, just fell back from him because he just was, he was too crazy, man, you know. But uh, my uncle did say he was a good dude, man, before he lost his mind. It's your boy D signing out. Yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comment section.